Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing some repotting. I've got my variegated syngonium, which I really need to put on a pulp. So we're gonna be doing that today, which is really exciting. Um, and I've also got a pink princess, which needs um, repotting because it's just been through a bout of mealybugs, which isn't good at all. So it's come out the other side now, but I just really wanna change out that soil just to make sure it's okay. Um, and also today, I'm gonna to be using my new potting mat, which we'll talk about in a minute, but I'm really excited to use this today. Right, so before we get into the video today, I just wanted to show you this potting mat that I got from Bee's Plant Corner. You can find her on Instagram, um, and I think she also has a YouTube channel as well. Um, both are called Bee's Plant Corner, so please do go and check her out. I am by no means sponsored by her, um, I just really enjoyed this product and thought it'd be really good to show you today. Now I'm pretty sure I paid about £15 for this. Um, so it's got a lovely little clip that just holds it together. You can get loads of different colours and styles. This one is obviously a planty one, um, so I went for this one. But yeah, so it's got these little clips in the corner, so you can just clip it together. And yeah, I just really like it. I think it's such a great little product and it's such an easy way to do potting indoors without getting it all over your table. I mean if any of you have watched my potting videos before you know that I am a really messy potter so this is hopefully going to keep me nice and clean. I have used it once already and it worked really well and then at the end I can just go and you know get rid of any excess soil outside and give it a wipe over and it is so easy to clean. Right then let's get into it. running around they don't seem to want to leave me alone today so we're just going to go with it um <laughs> cool so we're going to start by mixing up some soil so i sort of do my own soil mix um but i do use a pre-packaged house plant um soil that is already done that i buy from the shop but i do add in a couple of extras so i've got some worm, worm castings here that i've just ordered off of amazon which i will put the link into the description bar down below um, the same with my soil here, if I take this little clip off, it's just the miracle Grow houseplant potting mix. So it's quite standard. I quite like the miracle Grow. it tends to work quite well with my plants. So I add the worm castings to my mixture because it just adds some more vitamins to the mixture and acts as an organic fertiliser. So yeah, it just helps your plants to grow and just get an extra bit of goodness. And then I've just got here some perlite. I'm coming towards the end of my bag now. But the perlite I just got from my local garden centre and you can get it in many different places, including online. So if you do want to grab some, um, just pop online and type in perlite and you'll be able to find that easily. So I use this old, I'm gonna use this old popcorn container, which I've had for ages now, but it's just a really good big pot to put soil in. And then it's got the lid to sort of keep my soil from drying out too much in between the potting. So let's just move this on here so I'm actually using my potting mat and I'm not getting soil all over the floor. Obviously I'd imagine me being the messy potter that I am, I probably will end up getting something on the floor. But... So I tend to use this little scoop just because it's a really good way to measure out my soil. Now I'm gonna mix up quite a bit today because like I said with my pink princess, see there you go. So like I said with my pink princess, I need to ch change the whole soil um, to make sure that there's no bugs or anything in there. So yeah, I will be changing out the whole thing. Um, however, with my other ones, it'll just be a bit of a top up. So we'll, we won't, hopefully won't need too many, much for those. So this is a really good mixture. I mean, it's got some really good, big, chunky bits in it, which is really good for aeration and just drainage and making sure that the water drains through and stops it from clumping in the soil too much. with one more Ooh, scoop of that so I think that I kind of lost count but I think that's about eight scoops if I can get the lid off my worm castings oh fantastic so okay trying to find a comfy way to sit right so if I just so I'm then just gonna put two scoops, to level it off, of worm castings in here. Just give 
that a bit of a mix round. And that will just mix into the soil there. Fantastic. And then I'm just going to do the same again, two scoops of perlite in here as well. Perlite can be quite dusty, so try not to be too fast when you're mixing. Fantastic, so that's it finished then, and this is what you end up with at the end. So it's really quite, it's quite perlite heavy, but it's just a really lovely mixture that works for pretty much any house plants. I tend to use the same mixture for most, to be honest, unless I'm gonna be doing like succulents or cacti, and then I will use a specific mixture for those. Okay, so the way we're gonna do this today is I've got this golden pothos, which I bought on this pole. Now, as you can see here, I got it reduced for four pounds, which is really, really good price. Um, because it was dying and it really needed a good water. Um, however, I could tell that it just needed a bit of a trim and a good water. So I did go ahead and purchase it. I actually got two of them. I've got one upstairs that is still growing on the pole because it's not quite as high. Um, but this one is actually outgrowing its pole and instead of turning it and coming back down with it, I really want this one to actually just fall like some of my other ones. Um, and then I'm gonna keep the other one climbing up the pole. So I'm going to use this pole um, for my Syngonium here. So this is my variegated Syngonium that I've recently bought. Um, you probably saw my unboxing video, which is very exciting. I'm absolutely in love with it. It's growing so well. Um, I've got a new leaf come out here since I've had it and I've already got another one growing as well. But as you can see, it's just starting to get a bit of a tilt there. So I really want to try and get that up on a pole um, so that it can grow up nice and straight. Now, it's quite perfectly positioned. I've had it facing the sun this way, um, coming in from this side. So it's perfectly positioned to face that direction. So I'm probably gonna put a pole in behind here, but obviously the size of that pole is gonna work quite well height-wise. However, it's not gonna work in this pot. So I have just been out this morning and bought a new pot for it. So that will sit quite well in there. Obviously, I'm not repotting because it actually needs it in terms of the roots. I'm repotting because it needs it for the pole. Now, I have repotted this recently and I wouldn't really recommend repotting them this soon. However, I didn't have a pole when I repotted this and I actually didn't think that it was gonna grow this quickly to actually need it, but obviously I've already got two brand new leaves from it, so that's quite important that I do get this done before it gets too much of a tilt because it'll just make it a bit more difficult to do. So yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by taking this off the pole and we'll go from there. Right, fantastic, my hair's getting in my way, so I'll just tuck that back there. Right then, so let's start by taking this off the pole. So it's got these little metal clips that basically just hook around the, the stem there. So that's a really good little mechanism. So I'm obviously gonna keep hold of these because I might need them when I put the Syngonium back on, put the Syngonium on the pole instead. So we'll just keep those over to one side. So these are just gonna drop and it shouldn't damage the plant at all because of the way that they've grown. So it should be absolutely fine. They're quite hardy plants, so they're not so bad to take on and off the poles. Um, however, I'm slightly concerned that it's got some roots, yeah, grown into the thing. So as you can see, this is gonna have a really nice drop on it. And those leaves are huge. And it's got a brand new leaf coming up there as well, so that's really cool. It's just been sat up in my bedroom window um, where it's still winter. It's actually not too bright in the window for it yet, so that's been really great. Now this is like, worked its way into the pole. Yeah, so what happens eventually is that you end up getting these roots that grow up the stem, and what they do is they embed themselves into the pole. And it just holds them up and stops them from falling off now I am hoping this doesn't damage this plant too much but I normally wouldn't do this I'm very aware that this isn't a good thing but there's this root look that has grown all the way up through here and is now poking out the top here so we're gonna break that off so that we don't end up getting a pothos growing amongst my syngonium 
and then what we are going to do with this is just fill in that hole with some of the dirt that's already here and then we'll just put a bit of fresh dirt in the centre and that should sort of in all fairness the nice worm castings in this soil should just give it a bit of nutrients there as well so yeah, so that's it with that one today guys, that's literally what I'm going to do. So as you can see, those are starting to fall. This here, I'm not going to force it down, but this here will eventually just drop um, and will hang over the side here. I might just lace that around like that so that, that can sort of be the front of it. But yeah, that will eventually drop down. And then what I might do is, I might put it back in the bedroom window for now, just to make sure those leaves stay nice and big. Um, and then I may eventually put it in like a bathroom or something like that, it would be quite cool. So let's just pop that one up to the side there. Now we have the Syngonium. Now this one I have to be a lot more careful with. Um, I paid quite a bit of money for this and I really don't want to damage it. So I'm gonna start by filling up this pot with some soil at the bottom. So I'm not gonna put too much in. I'm just gonna, as you can see, these pots do have holes in the bottom. Um, I really do like to make sure they've got enough drainage. So I've just gone, you can normally gauge quite well by putting the pot inside what sort of soil you need. So I think that's probably a good level because I can make a little centre point here and that would just be a good start really. So I'm just going to move you guys closer for this bit. Fantastic. So I'm just going to put this on a slight tilt. Now I really am being so gentle with this. Now the trouble with terracotta is that you can't squeeze it. So normally with a plastic pot, I just give it a little bit of a squeeze. But I can't do that. So I'm just gonna tease some of the soil out around the edge here. I'm not too worried if the soil falls on the floor. I probably will actually just pick it up and reuse it because this is quite fresh soil. Um, and this is the same soil mixture. So it's not too bad. Just give it a light pull. loosen up that soil make sure there's no roots being pulled off so as you can tell guys this is really fresh soil because it's all actually just come off which in all fairness makes it a little bit easier for repotting but those roots are those roots there are actually a lot longer than they were when I put them in there, so it really is doing a lot of growing in this pot. Gently lay that down. So I'm just gonna pour this soil into here. Like I said, I might as well reuse it. That's from the previous plant, we don't want that in there. I'm just gonna take out that, that bit there's a little bit too thick and barky. Don't want it to be too full on. Cool, so I'm just gonna dig, I don't know how well you can see that, but I'm just gonna dig a nice tunnel right in the middle. And I'm gonna try and position this in so that the roots are over towards the front. Ooh. So delicate not to accidentally damage any of the roots here. So once I've done that, and that's sort of over there, and then, as you can see, I've left like a big pit at the back here. And this is just gonna be where I put the pole in. So what I'm then gonna do, make sure there's no roots just down there. And then the pole is gonna sit probably about there and then what I can do is shimmy the plant back and it can climb up there, which is perfect. So let's just dig that soil in down there. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more soil in the front here. Um, and just straighten out that plant a little bit so that it almost leans back slightly onto this pole. So as you can see there, that is then just gonna sit. Probably around here is where I'll probably secure it. And then that should grow quite nicely up that pot. And then by the time it needs repotting again, it can go onto a bigger pole. 
but for the time being I think this pole will be absolutely fine and it shouldn't secure itself too much to the pole with the roots so hopefully that'll be okay so then just very carefully going to use some of these pins to just push in just lean over so I can actually see what's going on so I'm just going to put a pin in around here just angle it downwards and just delicately oh I don't want to wait for those leave that I'll leave that front one there quite nice and loose because I don't want it to look really upright and rigid I do want it to still fall and look pretty and then hopefully what will happen is when I put it back in the sun that one there might just tilt forward a little bit and then I think actually what I'm probably going to do is just put that one in No, I'm just going to put that one in for now and then I'm going to wait for this new one to open and then what I should be able to do is when that new one opens and comes up I could just put another pin in up here but that one there is one of my favourite leaves and I think it just sits really nice with those loose and I don't want it to sort of secure too much. Yeah, so I think I'm going to leave it like that and then what I'll do is I'll just push these pins into the top here and then they will be there oop, for me to use and I won't lose them when I need them next. So that is Syngonium. So yeah, it just looks so much better climbing up a pole. So I know I mentioned to you before, um, so this is the Hoya Pink Princess. So this is the Hoya Pink Princess. If I can get my words out. This is the Hoya Pink Princess that I was talking to you about earlier. Um, I'm just gonna take that out because I don't need that in there. So yeah, it did have um, a case of mealybugs. Now I have got a mealybugs video coming um, because my crinkle eight also had a really bad bout of mealybugs. Um, I've managed to clear it from both plants. Um, but yeah, the Hoya Crinkolate isn't doing as well. But I will um, hopefully pop that video out next week, I think that's due to come out. Um, yeah, I've just got a few bits to do on that first. So, I mean, this is growing really beautifully. Um, the length on it is gorgeous. It's getting some really nice pink on it. The pink is starting to go really dull, which is really great. So I have just been rotating it in my window. So these will go a bit lighter. Um, but yeah, the variegation on it is just gorgeous. I'm really happy with this one. So I'm just going to take this out of the soil and I have cleared all my other plants away um, and I will not be adding this soil back in at all. Um, it will literally just go in the bin. Now this soil is actually quite dry, I've just let it dry out because it's not so shocking for the plants then. So just to turn it around and show you what I'm doing here. So I'm literally just lightly breaking away the soil. It's going to be quite hard because it's actually got quite a lot of roots on the outside of the soil, this one. But yeah, I just think it's so important to redo this soil, or at least the top section. Um, it's very unlikely that the bugs will be right at the bottom. So as long as I get like a majority of it away, I'm not worried about getting rid of all of it. Um, but yeah, so just, you know, be gentle, fill the roots. You can sort of get your fingers between the roots and then give it a bit of a, a wiggle around. When I did this with my crinkle it was actually a lot easier because it had not long been repotted by myself when I got it and I haven't had it that long so it was a little bit easier. However, this one I've had for a bit longer and I haven't actually repotted it since I've had it. It's probably been in this pot for like quite a while. So I didn't actually think that I was going to be able to separate that right down. But clearly the roots haven't got too wound up because that was actually quite easy to do. So that's fantastic. So whilst it's out like this, it is actually a really good time to just really check these base points here. And just make sure there's no lingering bugs or anything. 
So as you can see, this pot is actually a slight, it looks a slightly bit bigger, but it's actually pretty much the same. It's just got a little bit more depth to it, I'd say. Um, so it's not a bad pot to be using. It is the one my Syngonium's just come out of, so I'm just gonna reuse it. Um, I would normally give it a really good clean out, but I know that the soil and everything that's been in here is really good and healthy. So I'm just gonna fill this up with soil. Like I said, I've actually managed to strip that plant right down to its roots, so it's fantastic. So that's all down there. Great, so I'm then just gonna create some little tunnels. You just place these in around now they are all we're already hanging, so just brush off some of that soil before I put it in. It makes it a bit easier to clean later on. Now this has been through um, it's had neem oil on it, so that's why the leaves are really nice and shiny. So it does look really healthy and really nice at the moment. Do you know what, actually? I'm just gonna create one big pit. I normally do little ones, but because this is quite a small pot, I don't think it's gonna work. So let's actually just create one big well in the middle. And put all of the roots in there. just cover it over at the top I think is going to be the best way to do this there are quite a lot of roots and they do go down quite far I mean this is so cool to think that's just one cutting it's so great how they multiply and how they grow I I've actually developed a really keen love for Hoya um, when I first started collecting houseplants I wasn't a massive fan of them um, but obviously I didn't know all the different varieties and what they could look like and now um, this one and the my crinkle eight are two of my favourite ones. I'm really glad I got a chance to do this today. I got a new car this morning and I didn't think with that and the shopping and bits and bobs that I had to do I didn't think I'd actually get a chance to to get this video filmed so yeah I'm very glad that I've got around to doing this because I was really wanted to get especially this one done um, as it's been going under treatment for about two weeks now and I think it was just at the point where I just needed to finish it off <laughs> so hopefully I am going to put this back into quarantine still guys um, for another week or so and just really make sure that those bugs are gone because yeah, I mean, my crinkle got it first and that was really bad. Like it was absolutely covered. Um, you will see, like I said, in my video next week. But then this one, um, I think this one was hung above it. So I think it was probably just where it was touching it. It just got a few on there. Um, and yeah, I managed to, managed to get rid of them all really quickly on this one, to be fair. So yeah, not too bad at all. Now this will need just a little bit of a clean up because the leaves have got dirt on them from where I've just been potting it. But yeah, that is, that one all done and potted. It looks so good in terracotta. I love the terracotta and the green and the variegated leaves together. But yeah, there we are. Right then guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my video today. I'm gonna to go and get these lovely plants watered and give these leaves a nice little clean and probably go and give my car a bit of a drive because I'm really excited. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It really does help me out um, when you subscribe to my channel and if you give me a big thumbs up as well to let me know that you enjoyed the content today and leave any comments or anything down below. I will... Um, tag those soil products in the um in the section down below as well so please do check that out if you want to use any of the products i've used today so yeah that's it thanks bye <laughs>